Welcome back to the Physio Bros. Now, when you're growing up, everyone tells you to use these to manage your acute injuries. But today, we're going to be telling you a new way to manage your injuries and why we no longer need these. So guys, one of the oldest and potentially outdated ways of managing an acute injury is the RICE principle. Now that tells us to rest, ice, compress, and elevation. Now one of the problems with the RICE principle is people would take the rest component way too literally. So they'd wait for their stiffness and pain to go completely before starting their rehab, which ultimately slows you down. Now we need to talk about ice. We know that ice can be used as a great numbing agent to reduce pain, and it can also be used to reduce swelling. But is that a good thing? There is some research to show that by reducing your natural inflammatory process, you're also denying the body of its natural healing properties. And that's something that we potentially don't want to be doing at the beginning of your recovery. So we want to get rid of ice. The last bit of the rice principle is compression and elevation, and that's something that we really want you to keep doing. Hang on. Can you hear that? That's the sound that I want is. Now the next popular acronym to manage acute injuries is police. Now the big difference between rice and now police is that we're starting off by protecting the area. Now this might mean using devices such as crutches for your walking and also starting your exercises off very gently all to protect the injured area. Now the next thing in police is optimal loading and this is basically just saying slowly increase the load going through that area in the exercises that you do. We know that optimal loading will lead to optimal recovery, but it's really important to remember that underloading an area can slow you down just as much as overloading an area can. Now, the only shortcoming of the police method is the ice. Now, compression and elevation, we definitely want you to keep doing, but this will lead us now into our favorite acronym for responding to initial injury, which is all about peace and love. So guys, the real question is, how do you bring peace back to your body after an acute injury? And as you can see on the left, it's all about protection to begin. Josh has already covered that. It's followed by elevation, which we've already addressed. Now the big difference is we actually want you to avoid anti-inflammatories to begin your recovery. Just like ice, anti-inflammatories are also reducing your natural healing process from occurring. That's gonna stop all the healthy red blood cells coming to start the healing process and potentially slowing down your recovery time. If you're getting to the point where you really need something to help control your pain and you're wanting to use ice, Nurofen and Panadol, then it's probably time that you actually go seek help from a medical professional and actually get the area assessed properly. Compression is something that you've seen throughout all three acronyms. We know that compression is a great way of managing your swelling without slowing down your recovery process. And lastly, education. It's really important that you're getting your information from a reliable source. It can sometimes pay you to go see a medical professional just to get the appropriate education you need to get you back on track and making you feel confident that you're gonna get back to doing what you love most. Now, Davey's just shown you how to bring peace back to your body and now I'm gonna tell you how to show yourself some love. The first thing you can do is make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've gone through multiple different injuries and how to recover from them and it's great to have you on board. Next up is our load management, which we talked about earlier, but it's about progressively overloading your injured area. You want to make sure you're doing this with minimal to no pain though to make sure you're doing it in the best possible way. O is for optimism and it's making sure you're staying positive and optimistic about your own recovery. What we know is that there's a really strong link between stress and inflammation so stay positive and that will aid in your recovery. Next up is vascularization which basically just means increasing blood flow to your injured area. Choose a cardiovascular exercise that's pain free dependent on your area of injury and some examples of this might be running, cycling, swimming or walking. To finish off the acronym, we want to make sure you're getting into exercise, which will help restore strength, range of motion and proprioception. And there you have it. You've restored peace and love to your body and you're ready to get back to the activities and exercise that you love. So guys, if unfortunately you've sustained a new injury, then it's really important to make sure you're healing quicker, faster and better to show your body peace and love. Thanks heaps for tuning in. Make sure you give us a like, subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and we'll see you next week. Should we go? Then remember, it's all about peace and love. <laughs> I'm kidding, like both of us say it. You know how bad that is when people do that? <laughs> Just use that. Video's <laughs> <Yeah, it's> done. <laughs>